Hi everyone, Liz here. Thank you for stopping by. So part two of my The Range shopping trip. I uh, separated the Easter things that they had on sale into a separate video, so that will be at the end. Part one of this video was the Christmassy stuff, which was all reduced and half price, all the craft stuff at half price. Wow. But these were full price, but I don't mind because I absolutely adore them. So if you've uh, seen previously, I've done uh, a Halloween wreath which it, this is pre-framed on a canvas, a wreath, Halloween gnomes. I did an autumn gnomes and I've also done a Christmas gnomes. And now I've got the Easter one as well to do. So we'll have a look at that. This one was 7 99 and they are all from The Range, which is here in the UK. It's a big sort of store that sells, well, it has a fantastic craft uh, range. Ha <laughs> ha, bum bum. Uh, and it also sells furniture and gardening stuff and decorations and home furnishings and you can actually buy material by the yard there as well which is excellent so that is that one i then got these little tiny tiny duck with a gorgeous little easter bonnet on how could i resist these are 3.99 um and yeah he's just so cute and he's already pre-framed as well so that's really really pretty oh sorry about the glare there and then, well, I just couldn't resist it. It's a little gnome Easter basket look. And he's got his big Easter egg and a little bit of fair fabric. And it's all made of like stiffened felt, really thick stiffened felt. So, yeah, he's really sweet. I think this was two forty nine or two ninety nine, but I just couldn't resist him. He's going to go on my Easter decorations so yeah he's quite a nice little basket just give him a quick measure because he is quite uh, a nice size good for little hands well good for me as well but so it's about nine inches to the from the base to the handle which is about 22 ish centimeters uh, the width of him is about 11 and a half centimeters which is four and a half inches and then the depth of the basket which is lovely is about seven and a half centimeters which is three inches so it's a nice little size nice dimensions but i just thought i just couldn't resist they had lots of different colors as well and lots of variations not just gnomes but i just thought he was quite sweet okay matches my scissors look <laughs> There's definitely a colour theme going on here. Okay, let's have a look at the little duck first. Just move out the way, guys. The little gnomes. So these, I said, the Crystal Creations. They're a company, I don't know whether they're the distribution company here in the UK, uh, but made in uh, China. And there are all the details on the back. It says Hinkler on here. Really, really um, nice little box as a gift for somebody tells you on the back uh, what you get inside and uh, then it tells you how to diamond paint as well so if you're buying it for somebody else this says 14 plus as well this seems to be something they've started doing so whether that's because the small parts the small uh, drills the beads um, I don't know, but certainly uh, children younger than 14 can diamond paint, but obviously with supervision and you know your children as to what they can do. I say my granddaughter's been uh, diamond painting for a long time. Oops. Millie Moo is still with me and mooching about. She just can't get her bed straight at the moment. She keeps picking it all up. Billy Moo, if you're new here, hello, is our little Scottish terrier, uh, hence Scotty Dog Crafts. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she just uh, helped me unbox the other day as well, so that was quite strange. So yep, yeah, that's the box there, and we have a nice little pre-framed canvas. Oh, look at that. Oh, I hadn't realised it's toadstools there, look. So it's the little fairy toadstools, as I call them, um, which probably everybody else does as well. Uh, it's the red ones with the little white dots on, which until I was, uh, well, not that long ago, <laughs> I always thought that they were just in fairy stories. And then I saw a real one and I've seen quite a few real ones now. So you can actually get toadstools that have, are red and they have got white spots on. And then we've got two little butterflies just to finish that corner off there. So this would be quite nice if you don't want to send somebody an Easter card, uh, just as like a little Easter present. Just say, Happy Easter, have a duck. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, uh, where's the writing on this one? Oh, right, so we've not printed anything on this one, so that's good. There's no printing on any of the edges, so that makes life a bit easier. I so say one of the Christmas ones on the previous video that I unboxed didn't have any writing on the edges or any uh, of the key code on the edges, and the other one did. So I'm hoping that the gnomes don't, uh, the gnome wreath doesn't either, but we'll wait. We'll wait and see. Can't speak now. Goodness me. Right, let's get into this and have a look. Oh, and these aren't stuck down either. Oh, that's good. None of the horrible sticky tape. Yay! Oh, we'll leave a little ducky there looking. Isn't that just... That's a definite... Oh, hello. Do you like my hat? With all those flowers on. Oh, that little face. Oh, and she's got her... Oh, I didn't realise that. I was thinking well, that's a funny thing to do. But she's put her wing under her chin as if she's being all coy and saying, Oh, look at me. Hello. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. <laughs> okay, so it looks like this is a new sort of standardish toolkit that they're doing. I don't remember getting bags in some of the older ones. Maybe I did. Maybe I did get them in the wreaths, but yeah, a nice little amount of uh, little grip seal bags there. I'm not going to count them. I think we had 13 or 14 in one of the previous kits. So I would think that's probably about the same. Not 20, but uh, slightly over 10. Okay. You get your pen, your boat and your wax. And your pen is one of these, uh, well, I think it's a snowflake, but actually it's probably a daisy. Just get that to focus with your little crystal in the end there. And it's just a... A standard white pen with a single placer in the end, so enough to do your little painting with. Very, very pretty. Okay, and then we've got our little bag of gems. So there's no key code on the canvas on this one, which is fine because they usually put them in places you can't see them properly anyway. Uh, let's see if we can get into this bag. Okay, let's see how many colours we've got taking guesses it goes up to nine there so it might be over nine and it's 13 okay so actually they've numbered all of them from one to 13 and they've put a little circle around each one and i believe that that is going to be the color of the gem that it is which is quite a clever idea okay and this one's got how many bags we've got as well so we've got 13 bags okay so 13 different colors which is a lot on a little teeny tiny painting but that gives you the depth and that gives you the shading and I always think it's been charted well if you've just got a few more colors just to make it stand out that little bit more I think you can see from the box look that there is quite a bit of shading on our little duckling oh isn't she pretty what can we call her Jemima do you think she looks like a Jemima? Jemima the duck? I suppose a um, Jemima puddle duck. Mm, maybe. Anyway, <laughs> maybe that's why that sprung to mind. Good old Beatrix Potter. Right, so we have a lovely ducky yellow and a ducky orange and a beige colour and a nice cherry red and your grass green and a little tiny bit of white and a hot pink. We've got a hot pink yay and another little bit paler orange and oh three different greens so this is sort of like a nearly well sort of a jadey green i think that one and then that lovely fresh green and then two lilac -y colors which i think will be your butterflies up here so very pretty colors do like those okay let's put these back into the packet Uh, oh, let's give her a quick measure. So the actual canvas size is 18 centimetres, which is a good old seven inches. Yeah, 18 centimetres, seven inches. So, I mean, you could take it off the canvas if you wanted and use the canvas for something else, but I do think for 3 99 I mean, you could pay that for a greetings card. I know greetings cards are really uh, high-priced at the moment. Um, 
so yeah you, you could pay that for a greetings card so to give somebody a little picture that they can bring out year after year or actually i mean it doesn't scream easter there's no easter eggs on it so it could be kept out um all year round as well quite nice in like a bathroom actually that wouldn't it a little duck <laughs> maybe that's just how my brain works hey ho <laughs> Let's have a look at our gnomes. Just sit my little gnome basket out the way over there. So I think this one looks really, really fun. And I really, I did really enjoy, really, too many reallys, Liz. I did enjoy uh, doing the other wreaths that I got. Uh, so this is the fourth one. I did notice actually on the website that the it did show one from last year, but it was out of stock. So I was hoping they would get one. But I didn't expect that the Easter things would be out so early because I think a um, Easter is April this year. So it's a bit later on. Um, so I was thinking possibly February, but obviously January and we have got all the Easter stuff in. That's the chair creaking, by the way, not me. Okay, so, oh, that looks quite dark, but obviously once you get your gems on, it won't be quite, it's a bit dusty as well, this. Feels a bit gritty. Okay, so, uh, look, we have, yep, we've um, put the writing, well, the little picture over the edge. Oh, that's a nuisance. So we've got the little, that is one of the smallest key codes I've ever seen. You need a magnifying glass to see that. So there's no writing on the edges, but they've just put the little picture just slightly over the edge. And that is the bottom of the picture. So that is slightly annoying because that is where people are going to see. I mean, if you put this on the wall, it's unlikely anybody would see anything at the top. And they may see it at the sides, depending where it is. But you are likely to be able to see the bottom when you walk up to a picture. So, yeah, that's a little bit annoying that they've put that there. But anyway yeah that is absolutely <laughs> look at the ears on the hats oh my goodness me that is just so funny they've put they've either got ears on the hats or they're wearing ears and they've pulled them through little holes in the hats and they've sort of this one's got blue ears this one's got the green ears and this one's got the yellow so they've, they've sort of Oh, and I suppose we ought to have pink, really. We haven't got a green, have we? He ought to have pink ears so that they've got different ears to the hats. Oh, and mind you, it's, it's matching the tops that they've got on. So he's blue because he's got blue. He's green because his top's green. And that one's yellow because it's yellow. But yeah, uh, they do come out really well. They are partial, so you're not putting any drill, uh, gels, any drills around the edges uh, in, the, in, in the middle bits here. Uh, but yeah, it's pre-framed, pre-stretched. So basically, you just put all your gems on and then pop it on the wall. And I use command strips because that's what I did with all my Christmas ones and my Halloween ones, and that was fine. So let's get into it. Get rid of this plastic. It is a very, very dusty, which isn't good. Not that dusty. Makes me feel grubby. I want to go and wash my hands now. this so they have done their favorite trick oh dear of using sticky tape to put it onto the back of the canvas so it doesn't move in transport but then they've also put it on the key code as well so i have now got to try and carefully peel this off without tearing it or taking any of the numbers off. I know we have the one on the back of the canvas, but yay, managed to do it. So this one has 14 different colours, uh, no DMC codes, and it does go from one to nine, and they're all like one is one, uh, nine is nine, which I prefer. I can't be doing when like six is seven and five is three, because my brain can't cope with that, I end up muddling myself up and then from 10 to 14 are a b c and d and they've actually got the color dot as to the color gem that you use so yeah um actually that is easier to see than the one from the little duckling that had like the color around it so there is a bit of variation i'm thinking this might be an older kit i'm not quite sure 
because this may be the one that they had last year. Um, obviously, it's not on the website anymore and I didn't take a picture or anything of it to know. Right, I'm just going to try and cut this horrible sellotape off here and separate these two pieces. Okay, and take this off. There's no point in trying to peel this off here because when I've done it in the past, it just ends up being a big sticky mess on the bag and we don't want that. Okay, now then, have they put the sellotape over the opening of the bag? No, they haven't on this one, so that's good. Okay, reuse this bag. Uh, we've got your same tool kit, which is your pen, your boat, your wax and your little grip seal bags there, which are always handy. We do like grip seal bags. And yeah, your 14 colours. Okay. So yeah, as I say, it is partial, so none of these edges and the only the happy Easter on the sign have drills on. Looks like this is all acrylic drills. Doesn't look like we've got any specials or any uh, crystals in this. But I may add some because I have got quite a few like AB crystals and I've got, um, sorry, AB uh, gems. So I may match a few colours up and just make this sparkle a little bit more. But yeah, we've got hot pink in this as well. Yay! Okay, so we will start off. Oh, these are one to five, one to four. So we've got the bright white there, which I think are going to be the beards. So I think I'm going to use a, a mixture of AB. That's an iridescent coated little gem and the whites so it just gives like that extra glow just a little bit more sort of frosting and sparkle uh, uh that's like a denim blue and a lovely easter egg yellow and a little bit of hot pink look hot pink is so popular these yellow ones have decided to join in that party there can you see yeah we've got three guys that have jumped across there and said yeah we want to come in the pink party it's more fun <laughs> And then we have a deeper hot pink as well, yay! And then a little bit of a palish green and like a jadey green and a little bit of a purpley colour and like a browny rosy type colour and a nice fresh green and a bright orange and a deeper green and then another purple and a dark blue. So a nice colour palette. I do find there's not a huge depth of shading on these, but then with it being a wreath and with it being such a fun subject, sometimes you don't need it. Um, but as I say, I am going to have to play about with this one because I've got a lot of special gems to use. Pop this away. Pop those in as well. that into there with those so you know which gems belong to which although it will be going back in its box for now so yeah i'm definitely going to put some uh specials on this probably the yellow or some yellow um iridescent coated the ab coated maybe the flowers i might even do the green leaves in like crystals um rather than just doing them in standard uh, your acrylic gems and just see how that goes. I think the Easter egg needs to be sparkly. So that might be in gems because you usually uh, Easter eggs come in like foil, don't they? So they really need to be sparkly. But we'll see how we go. And at the end of the day, if you do start changing drills, um, it's not like paint where you have to scrape it off or wait for it to dry. The gems of the drills do just come off and then you can just put whatever back underneath again they tend to stay sticky one if you've not had them on too long and um, it will be sticky underneath still or if it becomes unsticky just use some of the craft buddy magic glue or some sealer uh, just to stick gems back on again but yeah nothing's lost if you give it a go and you think oh no that doesn't look right you can always change it out again oh we've had a look today at our lovely little easter gnomes with that gorgeous easter wreath with all the eggs and the easter flowers uh well spring flowers oh a little duckling who is just so cute and going oh hello and uh, then just our little easter basket with a difference <laughs> oh 
Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And come and join our little family by pressing that subscribe button in the corner and the all notifications bell that pops up. Uh, nothing sinister. All it means is you just get a notification when my videos come out. So thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Don't forget to watch the video after this of the bit of shopping. Bye for now. So we're back in the range. And Easter is coming. Oh, look, 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 look. Look at what I've just spotted. Yay. Seven. <laughs> Don't be saying that. Straight in my basket. Wow. Oh, there's some fab stuff. Okay. Look at these. Oh, look at the nose. Oh, these are fab. How much are these? Oh, there's no price on them. We'll take one and we'll see. Some Easter cards. Oh, they're mini wallets. Okay, oops, can't get hold of my basket. Easter fun. Oh, I like that with all the little bubble stickers. Is that the same one? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, it's the same one. Right. Bunnies. Make your own moan. Oh, look at the bunnies. Oh, I like the bunnies. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've got lots of Easter stuff coming in now. It's quite early because Easter's not till April. Oops, let me get through. Easter baskets to make, masks, I oh, like the pom-poms. Yeah. Oh, look at that one. Oh, I think we might have to get that one. An Easter again. Wow. Some really good value stuff here. Let me see, unfortunately, why little independent shops go out of business, because these prices are just amazing. Okay, $1.49. Look at the carrots. Oh, look at those. Oh my goodness, man. Wow, I like that one. The bees on it. Oh, they're a bit precarious to be having there. £2.29. Very, very pretty.